I don't play with actors. Anyone can play with actors. But I play with wonderful expression. As far as the piano is concerned, sentiment is my forte. I keep science for life. Yes, sir. Speaking of the science of life, have you got those sandwich, those cucumber sandwiches cut really rapidly? Oh, yes, sir. By the way, Lee, I saw from your book that on Thursday night, when Lord Charman and Mr. Worthing were dining with me, that eight bottles of champagne were entered as being consumed. Yes, sir. Eight bottles and a pint. Why is it that at a bachelor's establishment, the servants invariably drink the champagne? I ask merely for information. I attribute it to the quality of the wine, sir. I have often observed that in married households, the champagne is rarely of first brand. Good heavens, is marriage so demoralizing as that? I believe it is a very pleasant state, sir. I only have been married once. That was in consequence of a misunderstanding between myself and a young person. I don't know that I'm very much interested in your family life, Lane. No, sir. It isn't very interesting. I never think of it myself. Very natural, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Lane's views on marriage seem to be somewhat lax. Really, if the lower class doesn't set us a good example, what on earth are the use of them? They seem, as a class, to have no sense of moral responsibility. Mr. Ernest Worthing, sir. Ernest, how are you? What brings you up to town? Oh, pleasure, pleasure. What else should bring one anywhere? Eating as usual, I see, algae. I believe that it is customary that one takes slight refreshment at five o'clock. Where have you been since last Thursday? Oh, in the country. What on earth do you do there? When one is in town, one amuses oneself. When one is in the country, one amuses other people. It's so excessively boring. And who are the people you amuse? Oh, neighbors, neighbors. Got nice neighbors in your part of Shropshire? Perfectly poor. Never speak to one of them. How immensely you must amuse them. Shropshire is your country, is it not? Yes, Shropshire? Yes, of course. Hello, why all these cups? Why cucumber sandwiches? Why such extravagance in one so young? And who is coming to tea? Oh, merely Aunt Augusta and Gwendolyn. Oh, how delightful. Yes, that is all very well. But I am not so sure that Aunt Augusta will approve of your being here. May I ask why? My dear fellow, the way you flirt with Gwendolyn is perfectly disgraceful, and it is almost as bad as the way she flirts with you. But I love Gwendolyn. I have come here to propose to her expressly. I thought you said that you were here for pleasure. It sounds like business to me. Oh, how unromantic you are. I really don't see anything romantic in proposing. It is very romantic to be in love, but there is nothing romantic about a definite proposal. Why, one may be accepted, one usually is. I believe then, the excitement is over. The very essence of romance is uncertainty. If ever I get married, I'll certainly try to forget the fact. I have no doubt about that, dear Algy. The divorce court was specially invented for people whose memories are so curiously constant. Oh, there is no use in speculating that subject. Divorces are made in heaven. Please do not touch these cucumber sandwiches. They're especially for my Aunt Augusta. But you have been eating them all the time. That is quite a different matter. She is my aunt. Have some bread and butter. The bread and butter is for Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn is devoted to bread and butter. Quite good, um, good bread and butter it is. Well, my dear fellow, do not eat the bread and butter as if you are going to eat it all. You behave as if you were married to her already. You are not married to her, and I don't think you ever will be. Why on earth do you say that? In the first place, girls never marry the men they flirt with. Girls don't think it right. Oh, that is nonsense. It isn't. It is a great truth. It accounts for the extraordinary number of bachelors all over the place. In the second place, I don't give my consent. Your consent? 
My dear fellow, Gwendolyn is my first cousin, and before I allow you to marry her, I must get the answer cleared up of Cecily. Cecily? What on earth do you mean by Cecily? What do you mean, Algie, by Cecily? I don't know anyone by the name of Cecily. 